Okay, everybody, so just purchased myself a Fly 6 uh, camera and light. So we'll see how this goes tomorrow on a ride, doing about 100k of tomorrow. Um, I haven't had time to use it, I've literally just picked it up, just got back. Um, now it's full HD, it says, and it runs uh, 1280 by 720 HD with audio. It's got up to a 30 aluminum uh, tail light as well. USB charge, and you set all the functions of that up on the USB. I'll show you that in a minute. Set the time and the date up. Um, now they're saying it weighs 113 grams, so we'll check it now and we'll have a quick look. Now, look, they could have saved a few bucks, I'm quite sure, about 30 bucks. Oh, by the way, I got this from 99 bikes, um, it was $199, it says $214 on the packet, but I'll get a club price for $199. Um, I also at the same time purchased a 64-bit um, gig uh, micro SD card, but it's not compatible. This thing will only take up to a 32. It comes with an 8 gig uh, already, but the only one you can go to is a 32. The 64 won't work, so I'll have to take that back and get the money back. It was expensive, I must admit. That was, look at that, 159 bucks. So nearly as much as a camera anyway i'll get a refund on that and get the 32 one um as i say they could have saved some money on the box look at the box look how flash is this i don't know why it needs to be so flashy but anyway that is the box so let's have a look at it so comes with obviously your instructions um let's have a look so that is the light okay um so compare it to a pen for instance about half the size, half the length of a of a normal pen. So we'll check it. Now they're saying that it's 113 grams. We'll have a quick look. So we'll put just the light camera on at the minute. 116 grams it comes in at. Now you also get a couple of these mounting brackets with it because uh, the light clips onto these. These stay on your bike and then the light clips onto them. Now, they've given us two, which is a bit of a concern for me, because I've had these sort of things before with um, tail lights, and this sort of plastic has a tendency to fatigue over time and crack with all the vibrations of the road. Hopefully they won't, but you never know, do you? But they've given us two, so maybe that's an indication. I don't know. I'm not saying they will. I'm just saying they might. But anyway, we'll pop this on as well. Also going to need the rubber block comes with a little rubber block um, for the aero saddles like the one I've got so we'll pop that on because you need to know the weight of the whole thing don't we um, and you also get two long straps and you get four small ones so I reckon I need the four small ones so I'll put two of them on so all together with the mounting bracket and the light camera it's 162 grams in total um, now we'll have a quick look at it so it's easy operation just on off at the sides um, and then the USB and the sorry yeah the USB to charge it and to get the video footage is under this little um, flap here the waterproof little flap and that is also where the SD card is um, it's a micro SD that they take so that just flips back it looks like it's all waterproof on that um, so that's it it's on a bit of an angle here and that's why you need these little spacers and that because that will then if you put it on your bike and it's let's say like that obviously the camera's pointing up so you want it more level so these things will bring it in level I should go and sort all that out shortly um, as I say I haven't used it yet be interested i'm going out on a big ride tomorrow well about 100 k so with a bit of climbing in it so i will set it from the start it says it's got a six hour run time um if i put if i go back down and get the 32 gig st that should last the whole ride as well and i won't turn it off the whole way i'll see if the battery will last um and we'll see how it goes so check tomorrow and see for sure but what we'll do now is we we'll just jump in and uh, i'll show you quickly how you set up the time and date okay so we are now in the fly six so there it is on the computer um just plugged it into the usb simple as that now obviously here's where your films will be stored and then
then time and date so this is a bit of an instruction so it just tells you briefly how to set it up um, use the config file which is the one back in the other folder uh, to modify the date and time and um, then for some reason it's saying change the numeral zero to the numeral one so i don't know why but anyway um, we'll do that i'll show you how to do that and you've just got to make sure you put a capital on the um, month like you put in but i'll show you how you do that now so that's just the instructions so let's go back to this and here's the config file so there you go i've already set mine up so you just literally make that that's normally a zero you just make that a one um, October 31st 2015 and 156 and that is pretty much it simple as that okay so that is it um, simple and easy to set up nothing difficult about it um, we'll see how it all runs tomorrow when I go out on the ride and I'll put some uh, video up um, either late tomorrow or early in the week catch you then